Today I'm doing a tutorial on my own face and since my eye is still out of action I thought what better opportunity to do an ultra neon lip and I'll show you how those fluorescent shades are achieved for the catwalk and for editorial shoots. This is one of my favorite genres of makeup and I hope you guys enjoy it too. I'm going to start with my base. This is the Suku Frame Fix Cream Foundation and one of my Instagram subscribers asked for a demonstration of this product so here we go. So I take about half a pea sized amount on my hand, a very small amount, and I smear it on my face in the areas where I need coverage. I do this first just so that my brush doesn't munch up all the product. I then take my Real Techniques buffing brush and with light circular motions I just start blending this into the skin. Guys, I think this might be my new favourite foundation. It offers a really full coverage, it has a dewy finish and it lasts. 12 plus hours on my skin. It's incredible. I actually did before and after shots on my blog. You should check it out. My hormones were not kind to me this month, so I'm going to whip out my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. And I'm just going to conceal any little leftover marks. These are the types that don't go away for months and months on end. And I'm also going to use a generous amount of under eye illuminator. Complexion is key with any sort of bold lip. I'm a broken record, but if you're doing a strong lip, dedicate a little bit of extra time to the complexion because it really pays off. I'm just going to dust my under eye area with a bit of Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder which is just one of those things that you don't know that you need until you try it. It's incredible. It sets all the concealer into place and it has an extra sort of brightening effect. Okay, straight to the eyes. I'm going to curl my lashes with my Shoe Mirror Curlers. And that's it. <laughs> that was really easy. You guys can obviously add a light slick of mascara and a little bit of contour powder through the crease, but I can't. For the brows, this look is quite minimalist and I'm going to give myself quite a strong brow to give my face some structure. I'm going to be using a brow pen just to fill in the sparse areas and also to lengthen my tail because I have hella short brows. You guys might notice that I've grown out my brows recently. I actually did a whole blog post and I put all my little timeline of brows so if you want to check that out or if you're growing out your brows yourself I'll just I'll link that somewhere here. And I'm also going to put a little bit of brow powder just in the most inner portion of my brow. And I'm also going to blend that outwards just to diffuse the pen. So as you can see, this is a strong brow, but it's not a manicured brow. It's full and bushy and youthful. Obviously you could tone it down, but I'm just having a Cara Delevingne moment or year. So when you've done quite a bit of filling in, I think it's really important to get some texture back into the brow to make it look a little bit more natural. So I'm using the Anastasia 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 Tinted Brow Gel. And I love this one because it doesn't have any shimmer in it. I don't know what's up with that. Why do so many brow gels have shimmer? Like uh, MAC Brow Set, discernible shimmer. I don't know, that kind of fuzzles me. An editorial look calls for a strong contour. 
I'm using this cream contour by RCMA and I know what you guys are thinking but have some faith in me. <laughs> I'm going to take a very small amount of this charcoal contour and I'm going to place it just on the outermost part of my cheekbone. I'm not bringing this too far in because I don't really want a grey haze around my mouth area. Probably just take it about to there. Then I'm going to take a small contour brush and I'm going to blend that upwards. A strong contour I think is one of those things that's kind of perceived as tacky and I probably shouldn't love it, but I do. I really, really do. Okay, this is the best part. To achieve our neon lip, I'm using a combination of two products. This is the chromographic pencil in uh, Process Magenta by MAC, and this is MAC Magenta Madness Pigment. An unlikely product to use on the lips, but whenever you see a crazy fluorescent lip on the catwalk, there is almost always a pigment involved because you simply can't achieve that vibrancy from a lipstick alone. I'm going to line and fill in my lips entirely with the chromographic pencil. And I've done a bit of sneaky overdrawing on my top lip just to balance it out a bit. And then I'm going to take uh, the pigment on a fluffy crease brush and I'm just going to pat that over the entire lip. I'm getting as close to the lip line as I possibly can without making a god awful mess. So fun fact, this exact lip combination was used in the DVF catwalk, I think it was 2011, and I love it, but I think I want something more. I want a bit more pizzazz. Red electric, yes, yes, yes. This is a neon coral colour, whereas the other shade was magenta, and I'm just going to tap that in the centre of the lip. So as you can see, the result is crazy fluorescent. I forgot to mention one important tip when doing this technique. Whether you're layering your pigment over a lip liner or a lipstick, make sure that it is entirely matte. If there is any glossiness or moisture in your base, it will deepen the pigment and that just defeats the purpose. <laughs> as this lip is super matte, I've decided to add some face gloss just to the high points of my face. This gloss is intended for the face, but whatever you do, avoid menthol or lip plumping glosses on the face because it won't end well. Also going to run a little bit of that over my eyelid. And that completes our neon lip tutorial. I had so much fun. I really miss being on this side of the camera. Obviously, this is bright and I'm not suggesting you wear it to work tomorrow. Although, I am now headed off to a first birthday where I will likely startle some poor infants. I regret nothing. I hope you all have a wonderful day, night, week, and maybe next time I see you, it will be for a giveaway. See you later, guys.